friends, it's Laurie. Thanks so much for stopping by. Let's go make something. I'm starting my first project with two of the wooden crates from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to be painting them, so I'm removing both stickers from the bottom. I'm using my thick Starbond glue to attach both of the crates together. I love using this glue because it sets up in about a minute. I do have the company link and a coupon code in my description in case you'd like to check it out. Now that the crates are attached, I'm going to be using six medium sized wooden beads as my legs. Once again, I'm using my Starbond glue to attach my legs to the bottom of the crates. I'm placing the two center beads on the line where I had attached the two crates together. Because this glue dries so quickly, by the time I placed on my last bead, it was already ready to paint. One of the fun parts of this project is you can paint this any color you'd like. I'm going to use my white acrylic paint and give it a good coat. Once my stand is painted and dried, I'm going to be adding on a buffalo check accent ribbon. This ribbon came from Michaels and it's a 7 8 inch, but they do sell a smaller version at the Dollar Tree and that would work just as well. I'm using my glue gun and I'm attaching the ribbon to the center section of the box. Having the three sections makes it so much easier to keep your ribbon straight while you're attaching it. I'm adding the word spring to the front of my flower box and I'm using some wooden letters that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. Once I have the word spring spelled out, I'm using this pretty blue acrylic paint and I'm giving each of my letters a coat. Once my letters have dried, I'm adding a black and white acrylic paint accent. I'm using the end of a paintbrush to make dots and the size of your paintbrush will determine the size of your dots. I dipped the end of my paintbrush into my black paint and then I randomly added the dots to the letters. And once the black was done, I then did the same thing for the white. Now that my letters have dried, I've placed them in position on the front of my flower box and I'm going to attach them with my glue gun. I chose the word spring, but there are so many other choices. The ideas are endless. I'm using two of the larger Dollar Tree terracotta pots to hold my flowers. Once again, I'm using my white acrylic paint and I'm giving them each a coat on the inside and the out. Once they both have dried, I'm going to be using my Mod Podge and attaching the same buffalo check ribbon around the top edge. I'm measuring the ribbon around the opening, I'm cutting it to size, and then I'm cutting an extra ribbon for my other pot. With both my ribbons cut, I'm adding a generous amount of Mod Podge around the top, and then I'm attaching my ribbons. After my first pot is complete, I follow the exact same instructions for my second. With both my pots complete, I'm now going to use the same technique as I used on my spring letters. Using the same black and blue acrylic paint, I'm using the end of my paintbrush and I'm making dots on both of the pots. I'm going to be making a small floral arrangement in each of my pots, so I'm using one of the styrofoam balls that I found in the floral department at the Dollar Tree. 
I don't want my flowers moving, so using my glue gun, I'm attaching each of the styrofoam balls to the bottom of my pots. To finish up my project, I'm using some of these pretty spring flowers from the Dollar Tree and a few that I already had on hand. I'm making a small floral arrangement in one of my pots, and when I'm done, I'm going to make its twin in the other. One of the fun parts of making this project are you can use any paint colors or flower colors that you like. And my favorite color is blue, so I'm always leaning towards that blue. With both of my florals complete, all that's left to do is to place them in my flower box. I want to raise my flower pots up just a bit, so I'm going to be using four of the tumbling tower blocks. So all I'm doing is placing two in each section. I add in my potted florals, I place a little lamb's ear around them, and my project is complete. Today I'm participating in a fun spring collab with this group of amazing crafters. Please be sure to check out the playlist, I'll be linking it below in my description. For my second project, my kids love salsa and I'm going to be using three empty jars, but I did buy all of these at the Dollar Tree. For this project, I'm using three different colors of paint, a blue, a seafoam green, and a purple. I'm turning my paint into chalk paint by using some baking soda. Everyone makes theirs different for me, and I really don't measure. I'm using about a tablespoon of paint and then about three quarters of a teaspoon of the baking soda. And then I mix it until it's well blended. Once I'm done, I then follow the same formula for my next two colors. Now that I have all my chalk paint made and ready, it's time to paint the jars. I made sure each of the jars were clean, and then all I'm doing is applying my chalk paint to each. I'm not painting the inside of the jars, but I am painting the inside of the rim. I'm going to let my jars dry overnight, and then I'm baking them in my oven at 250 for 30 minutes. I love the way they look when they come out of the oven. It kind of reminds me of like a textured sea glass. I'm going to embellish all three around the top and I'm going to use some small silk flowers. These are just flowers that I've had left over and I finally found a purpose for them. Attaching the flowers is super easy. I just use my glue gun and start gluing them into place. I added on different colored flowers and I continued to glue them on the outside part of the rim. When I was done, because some of the flowers are smaller than the others, I did add a few extra here and there to fill out around the top. After my first jar was complete, I then added my flowers to the second and third. I'm using my E6000 to attach all three of my jars together. I place the glue on the jars, I push them together, and I let them set up for about six hours. I'm adding a one inch sheer ribbon as an accent, and I'm also using the same ribbon to make some bows. I wrapped it around all three jars, I tied it in a knot, and then I simply cut the extra ribbon away. When I was done, I used the same ribbon and I made a simple bow. Using my glue gun, I then attached it, hiding the knot. I made two more bows and attached them to the remaining jars. I gave the ribbon a little pinch in the middle and then attached my bow. To finish up, I added some pretty spring flowers into my tri vase and my project was complete.
My third project is making a spring wreath and it is so fun and easy. I'm starting using this grapevine wreath that I picked up at Michael's. I'm using an assortment of leftover silk flowers and leaves and most of these did come from the Dollar Tree. Getting started, all I'm doing is adding some hot glue to the bottom of my silk flower and attaching it to the grapevine wreath. As I'm adding the flowers, sometimes I place the glue directly on them and other times I place it directly on the wreath. The most important thing to do while making your wreath is to hot glue your flowers, making sure that they're all heading in the same direction. As I'm gluing mine down, I have them all heading counterclockwise. If you're looking for a gift for someone, this wreath works up so quickly and it's very inexpensive to make. I continued adding my flowers, filling in all the spaces until my wreath was complete. I'm adding some leaves to my wreath, so I'm cutting each bunch of leaves into a single leaf. I'm adding them randomly around the wreath just to give it a pop of green. Now that all my flowers and leaves are attached to my wreath, I'm going to finish up by making a bow. Adding a bow is completely optional. You can leave your wreath as is, but I chose to use this pretty blue wired ribbon. I attached my bow together with a chenille stem, and when I was done, I fluffed it up. After that, I attached my bow to the wreath, and my project was complete. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. I hope you had fun making these projects. And if you're new and you haven't yet subscribed and you think, hey, I'd like to come back and hang out with her again, don't forget to click that little red subscribe button below. I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.